A team of 20 people had come together for the investigation of this sacred Aboriginal site, including elders from the tribes of Narokwal and Ramanjeri, scientists, researchers and investigators. Before any person could step onto the land, traditional ceremonies were performed, starting with the smoking ceremony. During this smoking, you gotta give thanks and it's your connection to the mother and to the father. Your personal sovereignty is your personal connection to everyone around you. The way you live your life, the way you walk, the way you talk, what you experience should be experienced from your sovereign spirit. The smoking ceremony involved the use of eucalyptus leaves to create a thick smoke. Walking through the smoke was to cleanse and purify the spirit. Kano Walker of the Ramanjeri tribe completes the ceremony by saying some words in his native language. Hey, 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 you're going to be walking into your world, and at this time, you're going to be aware of who you are. The traditional ceremonies finish with Kano Walker performing a ritual with stones and boomerangs. His stone formation creates the shape of Australia but its meaning is actually much deeper than that. Aboriginal elders went ahead to the sacred site. They called out to the old ones, stating their intentions and expressing their deep respect. One of the elders called on the spirits of the sacred site for a sign of approval. In that moment, eight hawks appeared, spiralling above him. It was a sign to him that permission was granted to walk upon the land. Each person was given a task to do. The main objectives were to collect evidence that this land was the site of the sacred rock formation that had been recorded in detail by two researchers in 1939, one of whom, Frederick Slater, President of the Australian Archaeological and Educational Research Society, claimed that the ancient complex was equivalent in importance to Stonehenge. Researchers combed the area for evidence of sandstone, a type of rock which appeared to only be present on two distinct mounds, but which was nowhere to be found in the surrounding landscape.
Researchers examined the larger of the two mounds, which was the original place where the standing stones were carefully positioned. Displaced sandstone rocks were strewn all over the slopes and many were found down on the flats, over 50 metres from their original position. A large proportion of the sandstone rocks have worked edges and flat sides. 851 rocks were counted, but many more lay beneath the surface and the largest rocks that once stood on the site had been removed many decades ago. Um, so where we've been here the last couple of days at a very important site, um, could you explain a little bit about why we're, we're here and what role you've played being here the last couple of days? It's all about the future. This is for this area and it's showing Original understanding still here, strong, and uh, yeah, we we can still call on that original understanding. And it doesn't have to be the way it was. It can be. We've got to take it into the future now and do it. Do it the way the spirit leads us. So the fact that this this place is here and we're getting the understanding of it and we're all doing that together shows that yeah we're finally taking the right steps so that the future the future is going to be better all of us and it's going to be strong and it's going to be from the right place that's why i can put it is that uh I was uh, invited by the bunch of tribal people here, the festival, and uh, the other fellows, and uh, yeah. And uh, uh, as a part of the son in law, all right, son in law people. I was invited here because, because the origin of son arrangements, which is very important. The southern law people, but the origin with the language begins for all of us, and they have confirmation amongst the tribes, all saying the same thing and knowledge each other under those circumstances of all way demonstrate ongoing knowledge not only by uh, our mob but also by the other tribes that belong to this country. And uh, it was demonstrated that uh, uh, the great importance of it was one stone that had many uh, directions that dictate where things would belong and where there was and where they fit into the big picture. It also demonstrates the ongoing knowledge from basically 10,000 years to beyond 2013. And that is mind boggling to even consider. And to demonstrate that by tribal people of the country today uh, was, was uh, sowing to the data to back it, uh, carries a lot of weight on its own. But in saying that, from the Ramjuri point of view, it also explains the dreaming story of origin. Where term means black or white are bringing together. And if I put it like this, this is the stone arrangements put there that was there in the past, put by the ancestors. It is now done full circle and came around back to the hands of the rightful people of, that belongs to it. Now it's up to the southern Lord tribes to come together in harmony with uh, governments and the wider community as an old for the world to see and to share and embrace it because what this does in, in, in our 
circle of understanding that bring it back the foundation on how to live with each other uh, in understanding the new world and old world together. And like my brother, he's got his own tribal name, same as me, which was given to him and learned by, by his, his uh, tribe because of what he has done in the past and vice versa. The other issue is, is that, uh, 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 that's why I can put this, is that if this represents the land and this represents the future, the problem that they got is that I tell my nephews and nieces, this one, you need a business degree to survive in this one. But unfortunately, the society don't know anything else. And to put it simple, this land is getting smaller, this one's getting bigger. So the people that live here and live there got to learn to live together as a phenomenon. An and the origin story is about that, coming together as one and making decisions together on equal food. That's how important it is in a political sense. But culturally, I am speechless because the southern old people from all around the country who are always a part of this but embraces the dreamy story in, in their own country and standing up from waiting for where to become a tourism man. And the first sign of the old dreamy is demonstrated here today in the tour country as well as the Rafa people of the country. Uh, along with the Ramjay under the Southern Law and others uh, demonstrate ongoing knowledge and support of each other all the way along with the wider community being involved with us. Okay, thank you. So just to finish off, um, what did it mean to both of you to come to this sacred place? Well, for myself, it meant, it meant a lot because where I am on my journey through this life. This is a major, a major step and a big honour to be standing here with uncle here and to speak for my other uncles. It gives me a great sense of pride. And, uh, for no matter how big this thing gets, I know and I'll be uh, I'll make sure I'm in the right frame of mind and keep myself in the right way to do whatever needs to be done for this for working because that's why I feel I've had that understanding of black fellow white fellow dream my whole life being half cast. Now this started to make all sense. So it's good. It's good when life makes sense, <laughs> especially when you you look from you take your um, your guidance from a lot of different places. And you take it from the ancestors, the spirit, the path you walk makes it. It's good. How I feel is speechless, but what I can say to you is that our family on four levels under the Southern Law and all the different tribes are uh, all starting to stand up and be proud because a dreamy story has come into fruition and we want to embrace it for the rest of the world in peace and honor. So we say, man yet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Stephen Strong, author and researcher of Australia's Sacred Sites, summed up the two-day investigation. He said, Rocks, dirt and archaeology aside, along with the multitude of questions raised, 
We believe all of this is secondary to the real gift and ultimate blessing this complex can bestow upon humanity in these uncertain times. And it has nothing to do with history or yesterday, but tomorrow.